good time to cancel it. The Urian is uh, Moyashi. That's good. <gasps> That's a fuck up. They usually put the worst characters first in these kinds of tournaments. The worst players first. Or rather, they try and put the best players last, and what that happens, what ends up happening. Yeah, it's an East versus West. What ends up happening is uh, best characters. Best and worst players are first. That EX Mirror, he's using that a lot. Did it cut out? Are we... I haven't dropped any frames. That hit his limb, but didn't hit his body. There's no follow-up animation if she doesn't hit, um... If she doesn't hit the initial hit. But she hit the initial hit there, but she hit a poke. Very odd. Elena. My waifu. Tax. The tax, man. Ah, oh, that sweep is good. People are real scared of Elena. Why did he miss the second over the second parry? That's the easy one. The first one's the hard one. Oh, he could have picked up an EX shoulder there. That was a drop. That was just a, a straight up error. Oh, there we go. That's what I like to see. Still missing combos. Elena's a bit weird to juggle if you're not used to juggling Elena. Elena juggles differently from every other character in the game. I think she hits the ground abnormally fast or something. I can't figure out what the fuck she does, but this just she just juggles very strange. Sometimes you'll just fucking hit her wrong. She'll go the wrong way. She'll fucking fall through your attack. Stuff like that. She gets juggled by Aura String Combo pretty easily. But most juggles that require, like, uh... Hitting before she hits the ground or something like that. Like, um... Air to air into a super for most characters. Did he combo that? Yo. That was cool. Most of those are really picky. Which makes her somewhat difficult for juggling based characters like Urian. Elena gets almost all of her mix up off of her car throw. That's like where the majority of her damage comes from. Doing like a car throw and then doing things that beat throws like her stand run house and her back run house. And then she's got a high, high low mix up that's really good too. With her good overheads and her good lows. Elena's lows are a lot safer than in Street Fighter 4. But she can't cancel the forward like she can in Street Fighter 4. Interesting juggle. I like that. He got the unblockable after it. That was Elena's narrow body. That probably would have worked on most characters. I did not know that Tominaga plays Faye in ST. That's interesting. That was a punish. It's a pretty good one. Unfortunately, I think uh, Urian's only like neutral or something after an EX tackle. It's like a pretty even scenario. Vegas projectile? What does that mean? Mi Jinko. Back strong, just the right time. That was weird, the fucking close forward missed. That looked good. Oh, Vegas, Vegas projectile. I read that as Vegas. Like, like, Las Vegas. Now it makes a lot more sense. Um. Oh, he missed the punish. Healing recovers pretty fast if you cancel it. Try not to. You can hit confirm Q's dash punch. Vegas projectile is really cool. I like that. It's his V-Skill, right? He throws the rose, chases it down with a fucking follow-up hit. It's a cool idea. Anyway, with Q, you can do your dash punches and then buffer a double quarter circle. And if you see it hit, you can super. And if you see it blocked, you can not super. Like, you can react. You can just straight up react. The cancel window is long enough. And you can buffer the like the entire super motion very easily. So, um, he should have done that there when he did the dash punch to try and punish the healing. He should have buffered the super motion, but not necessarily gone through with the super. I'm pretty sure this matchup is probably bad for Q. Most matchups are bad for Q. As a general rule, if, some, if you're wondering whether something's bad for Q, the answer is yes. 
Elena seems like she would outfoot him really hard. And footsies are already Q's weakest area and one of Elena's stronger areas. It really looked like he couldn't get any kind of reliable hits off. It's quite difficult to parry Elena, believe it or not. Just purely because she's got a really good way of mixing up your parrying directions. It's still worth it to try and parry her because um, her damage isn't very high. She doesn't convert very much. She mostly just pokes with little hits. Jump and parry is quite strong against uh, Ro uh, Remy. And he has to do really weird things to try and punish it. Ooh, he got the dizzy before he killed. I think the first character in Remy's name... Oh man, I don't know what that means. I recognize it. I don't recognize the second one. I definitely recognize the first one. What the hell was that? Some kind of weird read? What was he expecting? This Elena player looks decent. He's been doing some nice stuff. He's already ten times the Elena I am. I'm a garbage Elena. Turbine. Or whatever. He is the slightly red. Slightly darker brown with red hair. I like how the character portraits actually change color in this game. That's a convenient feature. Repping that car throw really well. Her car throw is, I think, the third best in the game after Chun Li and Q. Not in that order. Back roundhouse. Or I think it was sand roundhouse. Dodging a uh, low. Jump back roundhouse. Lane's got real nice pokes in this game. They stand out a bit more than they do in Street Fighter 4. Her pokes are good in Street Fighter 4, but they're great in this game. Online Edition has little flags instead. Juggles into Stairman House. I wonder if that's optimal mid screen. That could have been punished. Could have parried it instead. The big key with Elena is you can parry that um, uh, Malice Smash on reaction pretty easily. Malice Smash was designed with Perry in mind, I think, which is why it, like it's kind of strong in Street Fighter 4. And also they fucking made EX Malice Smash really fast for some reason. Elena's kind of poorly designed though. Elena has a lot of moves that don't really hit or work like the way that they look like they should. He's trying to poke with the Malice Smash. He's trying to make it so it's unparryable because it whiffs. But, like, it'll beat other pokes. Kind of a weird idea. I've never seen Rhino Horn to EX Rhino Horn in my life. That's really out there. That would have been unsafe on block. But he was, like, chip, right? Imagine if they made costumes for Street Fighter 3, like, this late in the game's life. Team Pi NYC. Go to 133 and keep the sound on. Alright, in a minute. And by in a minute, I mean in an hour. I'll tell you what, I'll copy the link. Pi Smug's birthday stream? Interesting. He did a uh, stand jab there. The stand jab wasn't... It wasn't a mix-up or anything. It wasn't to help hold her down or anything like that. It was literally just... If he did a low, it would be immediate, and if he did an overhead, it would be slowish. So what he did was stand jab to fake the overhead, and then do the low at a time where if he did low overhead block, 
Um, it would punish, but the Atlantis smelled it. Cute little gimmick there. You don't see stuff like that in Street Fighter 4 almost at all, which is a shame because it's cool. Hey, this guy gets the combos. This is an unblockable. It's a left-right unblockable. Yurian actually crosses up for the knee drop, but the mirror still hits on the original throwing side. It's like the hardest unblockable to get out of in my experience. I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to parry out. It's honestly really difficult. I don't even know if I've ever seen anyone escape that. I've seen people escape it by merit of their hitboxes, never by merit of their parry. It might take like a frame perfect parry. Because if you parry too early, you'll get like the autocorrect. And autocorrect directions work really funky in this game. This matchup is pretty fair. Most matchups involving Yurian are pretty fair. I think it's parry left, but if you parry left too early, it doesn't work. If you parry left before he crosses you up, it doesn't correct it to be a parry. So you have to wait for him to actually cross you up, which is very late. It's like only a few frames before it hits. Then you also have to know how to like number of parries and stuff. Because I think he, when if you, if you get that parry, he bounces off you and moves like puts you back in the corner again. I think he could have lariated there. Maybe I don't know. It's a hard comeback to make. He can do it with a super. A couple good parries. Nope. Oh, that Stan Renhoff was a hard chariot tackle that he messed up. He got two mix-ups out of it, but no juggle. The juggle would have been nice because it would have led to more mix-ups. EX headbutt is really good against Hugo, but also kind of bad. He had Headbutts in general, EX headbutt launches. Headbutts in general are really spammable against Hugo because he can't um, duck them, and I think they're safe. I don't remember. Maybe EX is unsafe, I don't know. But they launch on hit and they dodge those on the first frame that you execute them. Which makes them pretty strong. What should you do if someone's pressuring really hard in SF3? Um, parry, maybe? That was a cool juggle. That's like mid-air connect balance smash only. Needed meaty strong but it didn't connect, which might have been an accident. Or it might have been on purpose, I don't know. That was an interesting super jump. Failed punishes all around. Plus Strong would have punished that, I think, for Milena. That's a hell of a name on the Elena player. I recognize the first character. It's Moo. Or Nai. It's nothing. I can't even fucking make out the second character. The third one I don't recognize. The fourth one I can't make out. We'll never know what his name is. Ouch. Making someone land on a low. Very common high level play. He got out, I think. Oh, no. He got bounced. Other characters would have gotten launched there, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe just misplaced the mirror. A healing. I didn't even see she picked that. Healing is alright. It's a different kind of super than her super 2. 
It's really good at different things. He got a full heal off. That hurts. That was punishable, I think. I think Lightning can low strong that. I don't know if he can get a combo off of it. But definitely the low strong by itself, I think, is a punish. Super with the fireball? You mean like fireball canceled the super? Yeah, it just locks the opponent down a little more. It's free chip, honestly. Sumion. Mm, this Dudley's aggressive. Threw the rose a little early, maybe on purpose. Throwing the rose early get, takes away the rose as a meaty connect, but gives you more like better Oki, I guess. You get the damage boost whether you throw the whether you throw the rose, not based on whether you um whether you hit the opponent with the rose or anything. That's a really good trade for the Dudley. A bar of Dudley's is, and even a little bit of damage is worth a bar of Urian's. Urian's meter is very precious, and if you can use your bar to destroy Urian's meter, then you're pretty well off. Oh my god. Alright. That would have lost to a poke, so he was hoping that he would go between a couple pokes, which I guess he did. Ooh, that's odd. Good short swing blow. That move is not as good in this game as it is in Street Fighter 4, and it barely sees use in that. It's very picky finding a good time to short swing blow. He got the parry off on the fireball, which made the mirror not work. Fireball pushes into the mirror. See how I used the fireball to try and get a... Ooh, you never see them go into the reset to the throw. That's really odd. That's different. He could have come with an uppercut there, or a super or something. Ugh, that was a bit bad. Parry into par uh, jab, jab, jab. Super safe, super, super unrewarding. It's like the absolute safest anti air in the game. Arian's corner control is really good. I think he was out of juggle potential, wasn't he? No, he's, he was 5. Got the overhead. Missed his super. They can't... You can't drop that. Why'd he even get a fucking half circle? That's the real question. What the fuck was his motion? That's not a mistake I've ever seen before. I've seen people drop the super lots, but I've never seen anyone... They usually just get uppercuts. Strong fireball is really good in this matchup, but you have to be watch, watching for uh, Hugo's low strong and his uh, clap. This Hugo seems to really like low strong in this matchup, and I'm convinced. He is he has convinced me that that's a really good button here. He's like kind of poking everything with it. Normally that's a kind of forgettable poke for Hugo, but here he's making it work. Meet squasher reset. Jump fierce. Brave. That actually could not have worked. So it's really weird that he decided to go for it. I like the way he uses that low strong. That's really cool. Oh my god, dude. Is it that hard for... I mean, I know Oro's low strong is really good against uh, Urian. Probably for similar reasons. It's kind of poking his lows really well. Got that little corner juggle. That actually works mid-screen most of the time. Got it again. It's harder than it looks, too. I expect a Hugo play. Oh, that's safe. It's actually like plus frames land in the X clap. Like, super plus frames. And he walked in and SPD'd afterwards. Those kinds of tricks work better in 4 than 3, but they still work in 3. Take throws in general are much better in 4.
Throws in general are much better. Throws just have much bigger throw range. This game, even the SPDs have kind of short throw range. The SPDs are just really powerful. And they go further than normal throws anyway. Yeah, that was a good display of psychic power from this Hugo. You have to be psychic to play a grappler. Yo, that caught the jump back. He failed instant overhead. I think he expected to block it correctly, which it probably still would have been a punish. Interesting anti-air. I've never seen that. Low strong cancel to up kicks. I've only ever seen like just fucking up kicks. That was lucky. He got a taunt off. Oh my god, that was skillful. So normal throw. Um, was that a mistake? Normal throw does... Um, it gives Hugo time to get a taunt off. And taunts for Hugo are like taunts for Q. They increase his defense. But they're not as fast as Q's. And he can stack up to four of them. But you get few opportunities. Q's, Q's really fast. It's very difficult to avoid damage there. And here, parry into jab. He could go for anti-air parry into close forward and get a lot more damage. Canadian is really strong in this game. That was to bait and punish a parry attempt. If he parried high or low there, um, that was a very delayed hit. Hit him during parry lock. Air target combo gives Hugo a little bit of trouble. Fucks up his anti-air parries a bit. Most Hugo players are well adapted to that though. He's sitting on a lot of dizzy, but he's probably going <laughs> to spinning SPDs the whole time. That's really scary. He could have supered there. You don't get a whole opportunity to land a uh, super one with Hugo. Like, not a lot at all. It's very difficult to land a super one in this game. A 720, that is. Yeah, it's fucking, like, impossible to get out of that shit. Good combo considering the location. That was parrying to block, you see it. That's it. He won. Damn. The skills, generously. Yun does not have a lot of health. Not a lot at all. It does like 75% of his health to land that shit. Hugo's never out. Hugo's explosive as fuck. This is a bad matchup for him. Like, real bad. Probably like a 7-3. You wouldn't think it would be that bad, but it's honestly, like, pretty awful. I'm pretty sure it's like 7-3. Maybe like 6.5. Elena's real good at zoning and she gets healings off for free. And she builds meter fast. So it's like it's just really hard to fucking ever hurt Elena in this matchup. Like look at this the way this Elena's running away is even a bit excessive. Like he doesn't need to run away as hard as he is. Seven twenties are at least partially balanced by their motion. So the idea of seven twenties being like a three sixty motion is really weird to me. Which isn't confirmed or anything. But just like you know that might be how they do it. We haven't had a grappler character introduced yet. Well, I guess Birdie. But Birdie's super is a bit weird. It's not based on his fucking does he have an SPD? Is that still a thing? I know he's got the grab where he jumps over fireballs and it goes really far but not very fast. Does he have like a true SPD or did they take that away? Three parries! Nice! Yeah, EX clap is three hits. That was um good character knowledge. It wasn't necessarily that good awareness. Like it was like that was like a really obvious thing that Hugo was gonna do. Um but it's good that he knew the correct way out. I've been in that situation before, I knew it's three parries. Vega and Street Fighter Five, boring wasted slot. I'll have you know I'm actually a Vega player, and thus I'm happy. Hugo can safely get a dash in after some block collapse in this game, and it's the scariest fucking thing in the entire world. He's basically frame advantage and next to you. This isn't over. Elena can still get a heal off. There you go. <gasps> Ooh, she's dead.
Some of the healing, you can cancel after the super freeze in this game. Some of the healing is during the super freeze. So that healing is guaranteed. And then the rest of the healing you can cancel. Nice jump. He didn't even go for the combo, he just went straight for the fucking throw. One thing about this matchup is that uh, Elena's damage output is nowhere near Hugo's. German has his two parries. That's a good slide. Slide is harder to punish in this game. It's like, um, it's hard to describe. It starts up pretty quickly, goes almost nowhere, and it's very safe. I'm trying to think of a slide in Street Fighter 4 that's like that. Maybe Roses. I don't think it low profiles, but I could be wrong. This is still arguably in Elena's favor. No, it's definitely in Elena's favor. That's a... Oh, God. This could, this could be Hugo's. That's exactly what he needed. That was the three parries he should have gotten. Oh, it's over. Yeah. There's nothing doing. A 12. This is a matchup where you would think that 12 would be helpless, but he's not. He's actually pretty good. Or I guess you would think the 12 would do well, but he doesn't do as well as you would think. If you're thinking of like Dalson versus Zangief or something like that. Which I guess is the closest analog anyway. 12 isn't really like any character. He's a bit like Viper, I suppose. He's like a really shitty Viper. You got the Seismo. You got the dive and the air fucking versatility. I don't know. I'm making shit up. 12 is his own little thing. Two parries for the EX needle. Safe on, even on parry though, so you know. Call the taunt off. Ex needle equals taunt. That's fine. He didn't even taunt again. I think he could have. I would have gotten a super if I was him. Maybe not. He's got a big life lead. He can build meter at this point pretty safely. I'm gonna whiff that though strong. Yeah, he's looking very comfortable this round. If he could have played like this first round, it would have been fine. Anti-air low. He did it really late because he was afraid of getting hit by the jump in. The only way that 12 can do even remotely good damage is through a super, and his super setups are not common. You can do anti-air super, and he'll probably look for that at some point in this round because he does have an excess of meter, but it, you can parry it. It's not even that hard. But Hugo jumps a lot, so anti-air anti -air super is like quite a common thing. It's easy to find a time to land it. I'm really surprised he hasn't pulled that out at all. He's using the invisibility well. Yeah, that was, I, think that was, I think that was guaranteed. I don't know if an air dash or an air normal. I think an air normal would have been good. If he did, like, jump jab, I think uh, Hugo's invincibility would have worn off. This is still arguably in 12's favor. But he does die in, like, one SPD, so he's got to be really careful. No, 12 had a better punish than throw there, but he it wasn't that much better. He had to burn a bar. And by a bar, I mean an entire super stock. He's got enough meter for, like, two uh, EX needles, which is what he probably wants. He probably wants EX uh, dives. Yeah. That seems to be his goal. Get at least one bar. Use the X dive to escape corners. This is difficult for Hugo at this point. 12 is not common because 12 is not good. This guy's name, I don't know what it is, but it's like water middle. It's like Swede, Naka. It's probably like fucking Mizunaka. Probably a name. 
It was an it was a name. It'd probably be Mizunaka, I guess. It could be Sweet Chew, I guess. It might be Sweet Chew. I have no idea. It depends on what it means. Ooh, careful. That was a pretty shitty punish. Or it might have been the best punish, but that's just a 12 punish, you know what I mean? That's what you get when you play 12. Hit the punish on the cross counter? Why the fuck is he doing so many cross counters anyway? Trying to corner 12. Still, he's getting fucked. Twelve doesn't really have combos, or rather, his hard normals do as much damage as his combos do. I think he has a car throw. I'm pretty sure he has a car throw. Off of like stand medium kick or something. That's nice. He's got a lot of tools at his disposal. He just doesn't have a combo or damage. Duh. That shit's cheap. You can hit confirm a super off of any successful towards forward. And towards forward is very spammable. 12, like, 12 is bad. But like Sean is, Sean is pretty bad. I've had a lot more trouble with the best 12s I've ever fought than the best Sean's I've ever fought. Got him. And here's super, after he already committed to a button. He low profiles for a super. He usually doesn't get hit by air, air attacks. I don't know if I would say Sean has decent or even mix-ups at all. And he doesn't have the footsie dominance that 12 has. I've played against 12s who I legit could not hit with a stand strong, like ever, at any point during any any fucking match. I've had, I've fought 12s that straight legit just zoned me out. I've never fought a good Sean. Sean is bad. I can't even imagine what a good Sean would look like. Sean's damage is much better than 12, so I'll agree with that in a heartbeat. Sean has very general ma matchups across the board. 12 has, like, some matchups where he gets creamed and some matchups where he's okay. So in that regard, I guess I would call... I don't know what I would call that. <laughs> yeah, 12's forward walk has low profile. And it's back walk too, I guess, but it's like impossible to use because of proximity guard. EXX. If that landed, he probably would have killed. That actually does okay damage. Jump jab. I've never seen Magu Sean. I've seen his rear plenty. There, he did low profile fucking backwalk. Neat. This is neato. It was not the same person as Nito, I think. He has um Oh you mean like a like a air throw or back throw into air dive? He should have an air throw, that'd be cool. It wouldn't matter that much. I throw something that good in this game. And he doesn't have that scenario available to him that often. Interesting. I'm pretty sure uh, that's unsafe. So he got kind of lucky there. Oof. It's safe on air to air, even if they parry it. Oh god, he's fucked. Damn. 
Tommy. Got him. It was a big combo. He got like the max possible convert. That was amazing. That was actually a really good juggle. Drop the f super though. I mean, drop the super follow up. That was an amazing convert. He got the max number of tackles he could get given that context. And then he got um, the one hit of super, which he needs for the hard knockdown, which gives him the unblockable setup following. That was a really good conversion. It's very difficult to do repeated tackles like that as a charge move. You get barely enough time to charge. He was doing like frame perfect repeated tackles. He got a really high connect on the fireball, which means he could juggle up to fucking, I think, five tackles. But he did four tackles plus one mirror, which of course is better because unblockables. I'm still a little impressed at that juggle. That juggle was nice. Like, that was really nice. You don't see that kind of shit in this game very often. Really good convert. Mm, good tackle. He probably canceled it to Mir, just trying to get some chip off. I find Yurian's, Yurian's presence very likely. I think he will probably be the um, either the villainous character of the game or very closely related to the villainous character of the game. But then they made 12 into a boss character. And the medics copy double your damage. It took both hits to kill Ken, are you kidding me? How weak is the first hit? Twelve's V skill is X copy. That'd be kind of cool. You turn into your opponent, but you have dramatically increased damage. Missed the super confirm. Uh. Low strong, he could have converted the super on reaction. He wasn't looking for it. You gotta do low strong and then buffer a super every time you do it. That super was only to get him... That wasn't a super to hit. That was a super to um, get additional juggle time. That dropped. I don't think he wanted that to drop, and I think he was surprised there because he didn't even fucking finish his combo. I think he saw it drop but didn't see um, that it, still got, it was still getting hits. So he was kind of surprised or something. Yo, did he just win? Nice from fucking Morikawa. That was really cool. There's the stand jab delayed low from earlier. Another different Yuri in pulling it out. He's really good with those repeated tackles. He missed that one. That's like very precise. It's cool he's going for it. Yeah, he saw the jump in the super freeze. He had a lot of time to react and figure out something to do. The Ken should have been looking for like three instant parries. Depending on whether or not the mirror was going to hit. Which I think it wouldn't have, but you know. YSB. V skills are whenever V triggers are meter. V trigger costs your V skill bar, your V meter, and V skills basically build it. Got him. Doesn't get very much though. So. Ah, that was probably EX ta uh, mirror, which hit, which comes out on the second frame, but it looks like he got hit on the first frame. 
so I didn't even have time to come out. If you hit your hearing during the starting off of a mirror, it um, never comes out, as you would expect, I guess. I had someone spoon feed me fucking Street Fighter Five knowledge, and I will be happy to spoon feed people for as long as it takes until they know. That was a very difficult escape. Did I say EX Supers? I already forgot why I said that even sounded like that. Oh, Urien's EX Super. So, um, Urien has four different places where he can drop the mirror. Uh, light puts it close to you, medium puts it kind of far away, hard puts it really far away. If you do it with two punches, you get a mirror that goes up, and it comes out really fast. And it kind of sits, like, kind of high. That's his EX Super. It still costs one bar. Um, normals do recoverable health in the same way that if you absorb damage with like a focus attack, except it does way less, and only for like heavy normals and maybe medium normals. Um, special moves still do chip, but you can't kill the opponent with chip. Uh, supers do chip and can still kill the opponent, even with chip. I think that's how it works. That's what I heard. That was smart from the- oh, you- that's an easy punish. I hope he doesn't regret that. <gasps> He's dead! Oh my fuck! That was bad. He missed the punish on the super. So, uh, if you hold the super long enough from, uh... Oh my god, he's in the, he's in the gauntlet right now. Never give YSB an inch, because he'll take a mile. Oh my god, never give YSB an inch. Okay. Anyway, uh, you can hold uh, Hugo's super, and if you hold it long enough, he'll actually never do the super. It'll just cancel. But you can't cancel it immediately. You have to hold it a sufficiently long time. So what Hugo's will try and convince you they can do is they'll hold the super a little bit and then release it to try and catch you trying to take a throw. Like, trying to, like, you know, punish the super. Um, and then they'll, like, release it and they'll hit you with the super. But um, if you wait a sufficiently long time and then punish, um, you'll punish it after they have to have like faked it or released. Um, basically, there's a window where you can punish it after the ability goes away to... Uh, that's an interesting juggle. That's like a Hugo-only juggle, I think. That's a Hugo out of the corner juggle. This is a funny looking combo. Very high connect. Got the meat squasher. Hugo will automatically pathfind the closest uh, wall in this game. It's going to kill. <gasps> he got the parry, but it still killed. The wake up timing is actually really easy in this game because um, um, there's only one wake up time. I mean, there's quick stands and stuff, but there's no delayed wake up. So, like, you can assume they're going to quick stand like every time for most knockdowns, and if it's a super knockdown, you can assume they're never going to quick stand. So it's like pretty easy to stuff someone's uh, wake up stuff. Oki is like a huge part of this game. You only have one frame of reversal in this game. It's a true one frame. Dizzy, dead. That's what I mean. In Street Fighter 4, you have five reversals, five reversal frames. In this game, you have one. Hey, look at Sonora. He picked Super 3. Bro Mikami. This must be Mikami. Aura wins this matchup, but not as much as you might think. Aura is very comfortable in zoning Hugo. I think that Super 2 is enormously better against Hugo. Because it only with Super 2 do you really win in footsies, I feel like. Otherwise, you kind of go even in footsies, and that's really scary because Hugo's damage is a lot higher than yours. With punishing with Towards Strong, is pretty easy in this matchup. It's a nice normal here. I don't usually use Towards Strong as a poke, but in this matchup, it's really good. Aura's backdash is really useful too, but backdashes aren't invincible in this game. Aura's is just fast. 
Third strike isn't really that much harder than four. If anything, I think third strike is easier. He missed the second hit of Jump Fierce. Oof. There's a lot of stuff that is harder, but overall the game is easier because it doesn't demand as much from you. Air throw? What the fuck? Why did he do that and why did it work? That was cool. He hasn't even activated yet. Three stones is really strong in this matchup. It's not like Super 3 isn't worth picking. It's actually still good. He did a five stone. What the fuck am I watching? He missed the unblockable. He just completely mistimed it. He attacked way too early. He got almost nothing out of that, and he's not going to get that meter back, I don't think, unless he just does really well right now. And tier stand jab, I would be so afraid to do that in this matchup. I would never do that. That was a car fireball. And now he's eating a super. Chun-Li has the purest mix-up in this game. That's the reason she's a strong character. Her car throw or her uh, low forward super is both pretty strong for either option and just a true mix-up. There's absolutely nothing any character can do. They will not eat one or the other. She also has a um, nice set of normals. Close medium is a really spammable button for a while. Oof, that was a jump sh shorter or jump forward or something. They're the same animation, so it's hard to tell. How strong. Does Hugo... YSB has a good knowledge of Aura. You can really see it here. Oh. Aura actually has a surprisingly hard time escaping the corner, believe it or not. You wouldn't think so. You think it would just be like jump out and you're done. But leaving the ground is hard. You want a super jump out, but super jumps actually have quite a lot of startup, and you could just eat a poke in the startup of your super jump. Koro, this is the guy. I like him. He's still picking super 3. I really don't like that. I like super 2 a lot more in this matchup. What the fuck am I watching? I know you have the unblockables with super 3, but like the super 2 ground control is amazing. The ground control is more important, I feel like. Chun-Li's wall jump is neat, but not really that strong. It's useful that she has it, I guess. Fire House is pretty good. It's definitely not like the shining point of Chun-Li, though. Her really good normals are like uh, Back Fierce and Close Run House. Back Fierce is amazing. Is the double jump practical with our... Yeah, I use it all the time. It's really good. It's basically kind of similar to Dalsim's air teleport in that as long as you haven't done it yet, you've got another like way to mix up the opponent with footsies that they're just waiting on. You know what I mean? Like they're, they've got to see when you do your double jump before they can... This is going to do a lot of damage. This might even kill. He does the right follow-up. No, didn't even need the right follow-up. Just killed immediately. Um, cool. He got a perfect on uh, YSP. That was neat. Once you've used the double jump, then you're kind of predictable with the rest of your jump arc. But the thing about the uh, double jump is that he'll autocorrect, so you can't necessarily walk under Oro and hit him from behind like you can with most characters. He can make his jump unpunishable again if you make if you find a punishing area for it. That's a good follow up. He's almost dizzy. I would not have burned that super. That doesn't. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I feel like he's at a really big advantage and he just threw away the meter that he was using to be at a really, like, now once he wins, he's going to be, like, out of, me out of meter. <gasps> he actually shook out the dizzy, too. That, he could have killed with that bar. That was a mistake. He wanted to be safe, but that was a mistake. That was not, that was absolutely, he could have absolutely killed Aura with that health. Both of them throwing away their super bars. Good stand strong. He could he should have super jumped that, or like chicken combo. Chicken combo would have been really good. Is the double stuff practical with Oreos? Yes. There we go. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Chicken combo. He could have done stand strong one hit, like the second hit, 
And then stand strong first hit into stomp, and then medium uppercut. That would have juggled. And it would have been way better than what he did. Oh, Jamranos missed. That was weird. Super? Why he didn't super? Why didn't he super? That would have killed. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like either of these players right now. They're both playing like scrubs. And it's like during punish scenarios. During like situations where their like opportunities are guaranteed. Dropping combos. Super 3 is a really good response to Super 3. This forces a stalemate. Whoever made Oreo Thins needs to get fired immediately. Who the fuck's idea was that? Whoever came up with Mega Stuff needs a promotion. I actually feel like Double Stuff have about the right ratio of Cookie to um, Stuff. I like the notion that Oreo Thins are fucking healthy. I've never had a birthday cake. I've always been afraid to buy it in case it's bad. Super? Ugh, fuck. I've made that mistake before. Good jump back roundhouse. He was probably expecting a walk under strong, so that was just a complete mix-up there. I'm stealing that. That's good. Alright, super combo. Doing everything right. Going for the baby juggle. He dropped the ender. Maybe on purpose, probably on accident, because it was literally free damage. Stan Roundhouse is really stalemate in this matchup. When you poke with Stan Roundhouse, um, Oro, it like... It's hard to... Oro can't do anything about it. He can't do anything about his own Stan Roundhouse. He can parry it. But as a poke, it's hard to beat. He can duck it, but any button he does while ducking it will like move him into the box or something. Dunkaroos, dude. I remember those. We were talking about those yesterday. Me and my friends. Those things were dope. There are a way to combo into close medium with a jump in. Jump roundhouse, close medium punch. That's a combo. Jump fierce two hits, close medium punch. That's a combo. On a crouching opponent, you can even combo um, jump forward into close strong. And actually, you can get it even without the um, the crouching opponent. You can only get it after a cross up on a crouching opponent. But on a forward jump, it's just very precise. You can just combo into it. It's not that hard. It's just a button. It's like 5 frames or 6 frames or something. It's kind of slowish, I guess. Yeah, I usually do. And it's just, oh, what the fuck? It didn't matter. Whatever he did there, it didn't matter. Combo's going to kill no matter how he did it. It's kind of funny to see that first hit of strong cancelled, though. Super 3 versus Makoto. I like Super 1 versus Super 3, and Super 2 versus Super 2 in the Makoto matchup. I actually feel like that's the way to do it. Because if you're playing against Super 2 Makoto, it's important to stay, like, cornered or mid-screen. And that's where your Super 2 works the best. He got it. So it's, like, where you're already trying to play the match. Um also becomes the place where you're trying to land your like use your super well. Both about as good as each other in this matchup. His supers. Three is arguably slightly better because the unblockables are really picky on Makoto. Is his grab super useful? No. It's got one little niche use. You can use it to go through Denshin Hadoken. So that stops Ryu from ever using Denshin Hadoken next to you while you've got bar. It's really easy to sit on bar with Aura because he doesn't need bar for anything. So um, just charge a Super 1 and then Ryu can never do a dungeon near you. Shook out in one hit. Fuck Aura's forward throw. It does nothing. Get dead. By Cora.
Ah, uh, Mimar is dirty. Can't he get a towards short there? He like chose not to. He didn't use EX, really? It would have killed. Oh, swag combos. Neat. That was cool. Every character, I shouldn't say every character, a lot of characters can do stuff like that. Maybe not even a lot. Or I can, though. Repeated cross under jabs. I've always liked that combo. It's cool looking. I like seeing it end in EX Fukiyage, but he ended it in down roundhouse, which is understandable because it was not last round. That was really stylish, though. He again didn't go for the towards short. It might not work on twins, or he might be missing it. I've always thought it was free damage. I guess it does reset the opponent, which you might not want. Guns out of bar. I wonder what significance those three numbers have to this young player. The fuck kind of read was that? Meaty dash punch? That's really weird. Because back dash is not that good. Oh, missed the last set of his ender. Yeah, sun juggles are really cool when I miss them. That's like one of my favorite ways to style on the opponent. And they don't, they're not adding like new ways to style on the opponent, you know what I mean? That kind of opportunity is kind of lost. Oh, beat the EX uh, up kicks with the EX chop. But he didn't have time to do another one. Mimar is already out. He's really good too. Well, I guess 339 is good. We're nearly at the end of the video. Was it over? Oh, this poor Makoto calm. Oh, that was cool. Alright, we got a... It looks like Tominaga, maybe. He always uses pink Makoto. Confirmed for Tominaga. We got an exhibition, so I guess it's over. But, let's watch the exhibition. That was a calm Makoto. <laughs> I assume you knew that. Vega, I'm excited for. They added Ken, they added Vega. I like this. Necro has really cool stun combos with his down back roundhouse. Or down back face, I mean. I agree, it's really neat. Let's watch ST Baff. Alright, find me an ST video and I'll watch it. I'm, okay, I could just find a random video from Super SF2 Turbo. That's what I would have done if you fucking if you didn't link me a video. If B Train doesn't link me a video, that would have been my solution. Ah, uh, dive kick, dive kick, dive kick, dive kick. This is like over. <laughs> oh, hold on, there's life. Yeah, tell me not to pull it back. That's really difficult. You have to get really lucky in addition to being really skillful in that kind of scenario. You need the combo of luck and skill. Ooh, good parry. You see how she did the follow-up hits? That's because the game considers the first hit to have connected because it was parried. On mobile, the struggle. That towards fierce. Ah, 
Oh, you pulled the you pulled the ad from the video you found. That's a shame. It's okay. We still got another exhibition left. Still four minutes of this video, so that could be several matches, really. It's Mochi. Game versus. There you go. I'll click on it in one tenth of a second. Hey, young Baka. Goes Ender. He's dead though, I think. Yup. Parried the jab. Either direction, parry parries that. This is Mochi. That's a very different thing from Momochi. Momochi does play this game, though. Or rather, he used to. I don't know if he still does. He plays um, Yan and Makoto. He is very good at both. I'm. It's about 4 a.m. here. Looks like there's still another match. Maybe they're just fin finishing up their conversation. Yeah, it's a calm. It's just a game spot versus this whole time. I could have found this myself. 